which is what you said you wanted to do. I've seen enough. Do you think the sea will be better for you? It'll be a change. We are ending the Ibsen Festival. Well, we've been doing Ibsen for 20 years. And it's been a great relationship. 20 is a good, a mile, good milestone figure. 20 years is a long time to do uh, a thing. I'm Adrienne Sweeney. I am the Associate Artistic Director at the Commonwealth Theatre. Henrik Ibsen is the father of modern drama. The reason actors and theater professionals love Ibsen is he really ushered in a new style of theater. Is that a threat? How can my leaving you be a threat? No, you're right there. We wouldn't have Law and Order, we wouldn't have any of the dramas that we watch today if it wasn't for Ibsen. Ibsen broke down that fourth wall and allowed us into people's homes, to people's psyches, to really explore their inner dimension, their relationships. My name is Jeremy Van Meter. I am both a resident acting ensemble member at the Commonweal. My official title within the company is Communications and Marketing Manager. The Commonweal is a small professional theater company. Uh, we uh, operate under um, a, a rare model in the theater world, which is the artist administrator, which means all of the members of the company are both actors, but we also fulfill an administrative task within the company. So the Commonwealth got started in 1989. Uh, the Lanesboro uh, Arts Council was heavily involved. They invited Eric Bungie, who was a Lanesboro resident, uh, native resident. He had moved away. Uh, but they invited him to come back and start a small professional theater company. The first summer was 1989. Uh, they ran two productions for 11 weeks, um, did that the next year, uh, and, then, and then the idea really started to, to, to sink in that, wow, we've really got something that could be really special here. So that was the, that was the foundation of, of the Commonweal. It worked. And, and now we have an 11 month season. Did you say something? Shh. Listen to that. What? That. And we see over uh, 20,000 people a year. The word commonweal means uh, it's Old English for the common good. So when Eric Bungie, the founding artistic director of the theater, was looking for a name, he was literally going through the dictionary and came across that. But that's, that sounds like it's exactly what we want to do. The, the storylines and the themes and the topics in a great murder mystery on television or in film, some of those elements uh, we owe to Henry Gibson. This is sport, is it? <laughs> My favorite. Why did you let the dogs up there? Ibsen sort of brought that down to, okay, how do, how do you and I relate to each other? And how can I make that into a powerful story? Ibsen brought me to the Commonwealth Theatre Company. I, I had never been down here. So now as I was driving down 8, Highway 8, I thought, this is the most beautiful place I've ever been. And once I got here and saw how committed this company and the ensemble members were, I thought, oh my gosh, this is it. I was cast in Enemy of the People in 2001, and uh, that was the first show I did here, and the rest is history. He is second uh, in line with Shakespeare as far as a, a classical playwright who is popularly produced. He's a bit of an acquired taste as a playwright. Um, most of his plays um, are very uh, dark in nature. At every station, there were the same two men, railway workers, I suppose, walking up and down the platform with lanterns, murmuring. It wasn't silent if there was talking. Talking about nothing, low, meaningless. Uh, some of the th same things that we are dealing with as, as human beings line up with the things that, that Henry Gibson was writing about. And I think that's why they were so popular here for, for 20 years. And over the years, I've watched the company become more involved in the community, and the community is an amazing place to live. There are a million ways that people can spend their free time and their money. Um, 
you know, they could stay at home in their pajamas with popcorn and Netflix and see great TV. You can see anything you want. So when you choose to come to the theater, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful anytime someone plunks down their money and more importantly, their three hours to walk through our doors. It made a name for this theater company. Uh, the festival was, was recognized on an international basis. So we feel like it really, it lived its life. It was time to open up the, the boundaries a little bit. We will be doing Ibsen again because so many of us love it. Isn't it time passing faster and faster? I won't endure this any longer. What's next is we're just going to start exploring shows that we've wanted to do. So it isn't uh, a farewell to Ibsen so much as an until we meet again to Ibsen. <laughs>